In my line of work, you got to be really flexible. I mean, you just don't fix a pipe. You got to get underneath to fix a pipe. What I'm doing now is something that my dad taught me like 20 years ago. What you got to do is you got to get in here behind the water heater and you got to feel a leak. See, I don't hear anything right now. I no. hear nothing, but I, I feel a leak. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to fix this probably start up here in one of these valves. So hand me the pipe wrench. Okay, which one's the pipe wrench? You got the pipe wrench. <laughs> you got a pipe wrench in one hand and yeah. you got a chocolate bar in the other. Why do you have the chocolate bar? I should have a place to put it down. I got an apprentice right now who's, uh, well, I'd fire him if he wasn't part of the family. So uh, I'm stuck with him. If you're going to do this business someday, you got to get into places like this. OK. Here, you know what? This is easy. This is really easy. You try it. OK. I'm almost there. Ah, yeah. oh, son of a gun. This is absurd. Oh. Breathe. 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 You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I want you to go out the truck and get a mat for me. When I was looking for a work vehicle, something that would help me out during the day, getting me here and there and storing all my stuff, I got the Ford Transit. I mean, this thing is unbelievable. It's, it's very versatile. It's very flexible, and I can customize it to what I need. I uh, can't find it yet because the upper shelf is not the same. I feel, God, it went out there. It, it was hiding in plain sight. OK, so here we go, all right? Yeah. Now, OK, so you got your hands on the mat. Come on. What? That's like working out while you're smoking. I'm what not you're doing eating right it, now. I'm just holding it. Yeah, and now bring your buttocks way up because this is down oh, facing dog. No, that's... Down. Put your head down. I think, I think you proved your point. That was very relaxing. All right, just so you know, we got a leak here because of a backup on the P-trap. Okay? okay. That's okay. really common. Easy fix. It shouldn't take half as long as I thought it would. Oh, no, it's super easy. What are you doing? I think the lady left out some snacks for us. Pretzels, peanut butter inside. Oh, my God. Yeah, why don't you check the fridge for leftovers? Ooh, now you're thinking. And the beauty of the Ford Transit is it's got three different body lengths, OK, that you can use. You can put more racks and bins in this than other guys can. I feel like I made my own van. I told them what to build. They built it. Then they charged me for it, which wasn't so bad. OK, so Bob, yeah. this is a prime example of about the tightest place you can get into, but you have to because you got to do a job. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look comfortable at all. You look wedged. Yeah, humans aren't meant to be in here, but plumbers are. Oh, hold on, incoming. My man. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll make kickoff. We just got to finish this job. So Who are you talking to? Are you on? Bob. Bob? And I'm kind of a median guy, but I know some tall plumbers, which is odd because they get under sinks and they can't get out. I've had guys call me up and say, you got to come over to so-and-so's house because I'm under here and I'm, I'm stuck. I said, look, you can get the high roofs on this. Three different kind of roofs. He loves it, so he got one. People think I'm nuts, but things live under homes. And it's not till something leaks and you could, they call a the plumber that they d discover this stuff. I found a wild boar hiding under a house once, oh. just like this one. And he was the size of like a Great Dane or a small cow, oh. right? I didn't see him because I had a little light like this. We get face to face, yeah. face to face. Oh. See those big old eyes and his tusks and he's snorting and snorting. <laughs> and I, my face is covered in mud, exactly. And I'm all covered in mud and I'm, my eyes are like basketballs. And I'll tell you, the only thing that saved my life, yeah. I was wearing a cup. What? And thank goodness I wore it to work. I don't know why I did, but I did. And I'm down there and I come face to face with this boar. Well, then he goes for the lights out, or so he thinks, right? He took it right into the kitchen. Right into the kitchen. Oh. And he grabs on there and now he's shaking me around. Oh. But you know what? I don't make a peep. I don't make a peep. And he let me go. Really? He let me go and he looked at me and wow. he ran out. And because he ran out, I followed his tracks and I got out of there. Otherwise, I'd be dead. They would have found me with a dented cup and a lot of questions.